just did a video, and apparently I didn't get my 15 minutes. So that's all good. This is one of those videos that, you know, I watched somebody else's video. The lady was 100% positive, 250% truthful. So I had to comment, like, back in the day. So I thought I had 15 minutes. At nine minutes, you know, I'm just getting heated, steamed, and I'm telling what I'm going through, and telling what I'm seeing on TV, and telling how I feel, and boom, 10 minutes is up, just like the old time. So, now I'm going to take this time to speak my mind, because every time I've done this, you see I leave for four days, these videos don't get uploaded. So, a few friends of mine are telling me that I have cabin fever. I've been in the house too long. After my little uh, thing with the law, they placed me on probation. And I vowed not to give these people the fucking opportunity to fuck with me in the streets. You want to come get me, you come get me from home. As far as I walk is to the store down the street to grab me a beer, a few sodas or what have you. Maybe across the street from that store to grab some chicken, some steaks, or whatever from the uh, little Hispanic little shopping center where the meat is cheaper and tastes better. Um, and then I come home. I have literally not been out the house in almost a year. Um, Las Vegas was the last time I left town. Uh, we went camping, uh, not too. We don't we don't go camping too far from the house anyway, so you know, but. Once again, I'm in one location. I am not going to give these people the opportunity to see me in the street and fuck with me. Their shit will be limited because I don't trust anymore. And friends of mine are telling me I need to get out of the house, one. I am not myself, two. Three. I cannot allow anybody to force me into a solitude, not even to save my own mindset or my own uh, internal clock. Me staying at the house is hurting me. This is an experiment that I don't wish anybody partake in. Locking yourself away because you don't want to deal with the law. You don't want to be pulled over, questioned, checked, searched. You don't want to be messed with because you're on probation. Let me tell you about Sonoma County. You go there on vacation. You leave on probation and you come back on violation. That is the motto for where I live at. This is supposed to be wine country. Some of the greatest wines all over the world. Some wine, I, I can go buy a, a bottle of Sutter Home. I can go, you know, get me some Riesling. I, you know, I mean, you can go get some of the best wine on the planet Earth made right here. But people come here visiting, get in an argument, end up in jail for years. And speaking about wine, I met this guy named Jeff like what, four years ago. He came here on vacation. He left here on probation. And he came back here on a violation. Him and his girlfriend was drinking at these wineries. You have wine tasting. That's when you sip it, smell it, spit it out. You don't drink it. Taste it. Spit it out. He and the woman was drinking. They had an argument. She slapped him. He slapped her. Get in the car. Got back in there. Ran on, went back to the motel room. Somebody saw it. He did three years in jail up here. Domestic violence. She went back to their state. Took all his shit. This is Sonoma County. I'm not going to give John Wayne's boys any reason. To... Routine check. Got black guy walking. Oh, Mr. Yazablaza Blada, you're on probation. Get over here. Stretch out. Open your legs. Let me stick my hand between your legs and fiddle around by your dick. 
in front of everybody. Let me humiliate you in front of all these people. Let me make you stand here with your hands behind your back and your head looking down for hours so people can see you. And then I can say, oh, you can go. I don't want that. My friends are telling me, man, you got to get out. Nobody's like, I'll be glad when basketball season starts so we can start going to the games again, man. Get you the fuck out of the house. All my friends are telling me. I'm killing myself. Because I allow these people to place the fear in me so strong that I will not leave my house. A man can die in the streets defending himself. You got to burn me out of my castle. You got to break the walls down. You got to come and get me, baby. I'm not going to walk to you. I'm not just going to turn myself in. You got to come get me. And my buddy's like, no, man. Fuck that. Get the fuck out of the house or this will destroy you from the inside out. I'm not the same. I see it in my music. I hear it in my voice. I, I don't even think the same anymore because I have been in his house for a long time. And I try to tell these people, I'm not just doing this for me. I am not going to give these motherfuckers one shot at me because of the way that little thing ended. They can't find the video from the dash of her car. They can't find this. They can't find that. They're threatening me with this. They threaten me with that. And I threaten them just as much as they threaten me. I'm going to call this. I'm going to call that N double N double A C P. Oh. We both threw words around. We both threatened. And I walked out of there. You don't walk out of there. You don't walk out. You do not walk out. You do not tell them no. And I did. You do not give them the deal. I did. I embarrassed them. I sat there. Nope. Nope. No, that's not my best. No, 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 no. It wasn't going to get me, man. Never. So, my friends are right. I need to get the fuck out of the house. This is Cabin Fever. If you got to see some of the videos, you could actually watch me degrade right in front of the camera. But I, I, I can't do it. I'm not scared to go outside. I don't trust the people walking around with the guns and the badges because you can kill a man and get four years. You can torture somebody and that not even be in the equation. And you can all do it with a badge. Now, I'm at nine minutes and ten seconds. The last video I did was cut short at ten minutes. I don't think they're going to let me go past nine minutes. 10 minutes on this one it's because I'm speaking from the heart I'm telling people don't give these motherfuckers an opportunity to see you walk in the streets if they already got a string on your ankle because they will pull that string and slide your ass and drag you all across the mud up and down the hillsides and all around your fucking house all up in front of everybody down the middle of the street and tell you oh you can go not giving them that So if the clock stops right here, you've been too. But if not, then we're going to let it roll.
What would you do if you knew as soon as somebody run your last name, they're going to have your father's face pull up, your brother's face pull up, your stepmama's face pull up, and all her sons and everything that anybody related to you do bad, all of that shit pops up on a screen who you affiliated with what they done did and what they done think you done did with them and they judge you right there without any court without any judge without anything you get judged on the spot oh he comes from a violent family let's beat his ass and taser him let's beat this motherfucker and electrocute him and then we'll take him to jail I'm gonna tell you folks a million times and a million times again and again. In order for us to change the things that we feel are bad with the system, we must write laws. We must get them passed. We must change the way those who are here set here to guard us do their job. I cannot show you any respect if I was taught not to respect you. And then I have to do a job and then you demand respect? Never works. You have a group of people afraid of the police. You got a group of people depend on the police to keep those undesirables, poor whites, poor blacks, and poor Mexicans underfoot. These people get paid to kick us in the ass. But they're also getting paid to protect us from us. But if we're scared of them, who's going to call one of them to protect us from us? Not one of us. Because they're called on us, for us, because of us. Can you figure that out? Or do I have to fucking spell for you too? It's not black and white anymore. It's green and brown because if you got a brown wallet with no green in it you're ass out and if you're brown with no green you're ass out and the poor white people they get shit on from all different directions but I'm not worried about them in this video this ain't the poor white people video I've done that and got no credit for it we have to look at every single person we are a circle inevitably connected. This circle ain't got no broken spots in it. We're all connected. We're one group of people, one species, the human race. Not the white human race, not the black human race, not the police race, not the police state. We're human beings. And I don't trust those motherfuckers. There's not one human being on this planet that is not corrupted or corruptible. Even from birth, we are corrupted. I want that story all the time. I want that. And then you fight and you scream for what you want the whole time. We are a nation of needy fucking people. I need a new Xbox 360. I need the new thing. Man, I need that new album by Slick Throat Black Knack. You don't need none of that shit. I was watching the Yellow Submarine last night. And you know what you need. All you need is love and respect for one another. That's it. There's no other shit out there. You don't need money. You don't need clothing. All you need is respect from the people that you go walk around with. If I look at you and I see that you fucking hate me and you see it in the eyes first, if I see that, I'm not going to have no love for you or nobody out there. So, hey, I've spouted on enough about myself and my own drama and my cabin fucking fever and why I won't leave the fucking house. And I'm not going to explain myself to no more of my friends out there. I cannot go outside because this is not my world anymore. These people are out there to get me all that I am and all that I represent. And I cannot afford to let that happen. You've been tuned.